Good fucking morning. Stole that one from Rich Piana. Rest in peace, brother. But uh, yeah, here we are. Back with uh, back day. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so back day is something like um, when I was younger, I didn't give two shits about. I just kind of did it to do it because it's a muscle to work out. It wasn't until uh, you know I watched a couple videos and realistically I saw this back before memes or even memes. Before that was a thing. There was a picture and it was a guy, it was an animation. It was a, it was a guy flexing in the mirror and he was jacked. But the picture was from behind him. Here, you know what? I'll find it. I'll throw it up right now. Okay, well, I couldn't find the picture. Like, I, I just searched for, like, a good 20 minutes, and for some reason that picture is not... It's not on the internet. But you get the point. Or you're only working out the stuff you can see in the mirror. And uh, one way I got around that, because I, I had that too when I was younger, um, one way I got around that is when you watch the, uh, the pro bodybuilders pose and you see their lats flare out from behind their back, that's not a mirror muscle. So... And then I started, uh, in the last couple of years, really focusing on feeling the muscle. Same with everything else that I've been doing and, uh, and, and the pump. And to do that, you have to start realizing that, like, um, a pulling motion, you're, you, to, try and, to try and take your bicep out of that pulling motion, you want to focus on, like, leading with the elbow. So as if you're, as if you're trying to push something with your elbow, you're trying to push it back. So instead of pulling with your biceps to try and do the pulling motion for your back, which kind of defeats the purpose, like yes, your biceps are a secondary muscle, you try to, you try to like hit something with your elbows behind you. You're, you're leading with your elbows, and that's why I use wrist wraps a lot for uh, back day. That way I can just kind of hook on, and then when I pull, it's just, I'm kind of, I'm not pulling with my, my biceps per se, I'm just... I'm leading with my elbows, so, um, you know, guys that just look in the mirror and they just work on what they see, that can also cause problems, like an imbalance of uh, muscle like that, that's where you get the guys with like the really rolled over shoulders, like you work chest so much and uh, you don't work your the opposite muscle, which is back, those muscles start to take over and they'll pull your shoulders forward and you get that like Neanderthal look where they're walking around like that. Instead of like the straight up, you know what I mean, posture, correct posture. So I saw that picture a long time ago of the uh, mirror muscle guy that only goes to the gym and works what he can see in the mirror and doesn't pay attention to the muscles behind him. Even even um, your rear your rear delt, that's considered like a, mu a mirror muscle that you don't see. You only see your front delt and your side, right? So when I saw that, that was kind of like a little uh, flag that went up in my head and said, I don't want to be that guy that doesn't work out the back. I'm still that guy that really slacks on the legs. <laughs> That's my worst. Won't even go there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so today we'll hit back, try to correct that uh, rolled shoulders and try to feel the muscle out. And another thing too... Um, I'll put the link in the description, um, but I, I have a video about all the supplements I use from back in the day, and to be honest, I don't use any of those anymore. I, I use a pre-workout to get my ass moving, which is sad to say it's mostly stimulant-based. I'm trying to move over to like a, a thermogenic style. I, I like my beta alanine, I like the tingles and, and such, and a high level of caffeine to get my, uh, my ass in gear. So I just take a, a scoop of pre-workout before my workout, and that's it. I don't use protein shakes. I don't use um, BCAAs and all that stuff. I, I eat, I eat, you know, real food. So let's get into it.
So, good and warmed up. I've been pumping out some reps. Um, I hit, uh, I like hanging off the rack. I find it, like I don't get the stretch on my uh, lat pull down that I should because it's too tall or it's too short for me and I can't really let it go and stretch. So I like hanging off the rack for a little bit, get the stretch and uh, I've tried hanging off the rack before and I do feel it more in the, uh, the lats. It stretches it out. I'm gonna throw in just just a little bit of abs today because I need to. My uh, got that really weak abs going on and it's really affecting my lower back. So I gotta I gotta focus on uh, the abs a little bit more. We're gonna move into some uh, some more upper pull down style stuff. Do some rows and just work at it.
right, so that's back day. Uh, I did some abs, as you could tell. Just a couple uh, quick sets to like 12 or 15-ish and uh, to feel a burn. And it's good, it felt good. Uh, I think I'll do two, two ab workouts, or two, I'll throw in abs twice a week after let's say arms and maybe legs. And uh, cause my, I need it. And a good friend of mine's really knowledgeable about this kind of stuff and he mentioned that 99% of the time, lower back issues are cause of weak core. And I tend to agree with him cause I thought rack pulls were strengthening my lower back but what I didn't really take into consideration is when I was doing rack pulls I was squeezing and clenching my abs the whole time because and f to help protect my lower back. And that probably created stronger abs, which helped protect my lower back and I made it more sturdy and I had less problems. So back day done. Um, any questions, let me know. You know what you uh, need to do if you like this shit, share it with everybody you know. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, cheers.